Good to see you. Yeah, same. So fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call. Winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Check it out. Got it. Friend sense is keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. I guess that explains the disappearances. <laughs> Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us, or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right.
one down. Start a sweep! Looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. That's two. Three down.
I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Mm, Wrench and Satara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Marsha's, Marsha's good. She had it.
Hey, thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. It'd be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Well, aren't and... you the cutest thing? Gee, thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank bank. Not you, shit cake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh. You don't mean me. Yeah, uh, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheek. No, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted a puppy. Do you want to come work for me? No. What do you want, Lenny, uh, besides harassing Josh? Oh, you are no fun at all. I want what I've always wanted, whatever Ren sense is hiding in there. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy-ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Yeah? Why'd you call DedSec, then? Because I need human shields? That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. Except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those D-bags. See, the thing is, I have the brain. Super creepy. I just need the brawn and someone to back me up in the hacking. And even though Captain Butt fucking annoys the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking, Josh and I... No, 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 We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But... Nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I am. And what is up with you and Josh? He reminds me of someone. I just really wanted to see the nanotech. Oh, sweetie. I will let you look at any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. So creepy. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget? Move! Hi, man. Bye. Looks like this is the research lab. Finally. Oh, I'm hurt, Lenny. I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, uh, can you imagine the sheer quantity of tech they have hidden away here? It's like being a kid in a candy shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping people. And guess what? I'm a people. I'm good. You want to know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better, smarter, faster, more aware of the world around us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt, or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we aren't about to burn out the planet with wars and waste? Nanotech can clean up the environment, repurpose the toxic shit we're putting into the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be, but that's not what Rinsense was doing and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy and they were using poor people's lives to do it. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room and open the door. Sure. Want me to order you a pizza while I'm at it? Ha, funny. Just do your job. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Yo, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> Shit, fuck. fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay. 
Lenny got in first. Fine, we just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. I need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for experiments. Right. Plus destroy all the nanotech I can find here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again. Wipe their research data, <laughs> and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. Now, I don't trust Lenny any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. <laughs> that is entirely true. I wouldn't put it past her to have some of her little friends show up. Or use any nanotech she finds on other people just for shits and giggles. That does seem to be in keeping with her general personality profile. Yep. Totally Lenny. Glad we agree. Got it. Looks like they really are keeping prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. We knew they were doing that. Yeah, it's just hard to believe. What else did you find? Approximate locations where they store their nanotech, where they keep the majority of their research, and where we can find the deactivation codes for the nanobots. Looks like I'm good to go. We having fun yet, dead sack? Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout just because I got in first, because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I needed brains, I would have asked your little friend. Josh, you mean? Yeah, what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody has got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Ah, fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. Gotta turn the valves up to get enough pressure. I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions? Against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh, yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You a mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What? Shit. Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch. Just fucking with you. I understand. 
ban the shift from animal to human test subjects, we'll certainly get results faster. But if anyone from the regulatory board finds out, we'll be in deep trouble. Seriously deep trouble. I mean, it's not like anyone would particularly miss the people we're selecting as subjects, but the ethics board gets so overexcited about human experimentation. We're found out. It can ruin my career. All the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroyed the research, and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out most of you dead sex schmucks. I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, a little robot scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe path out of here? Make sure doors are open? On it. see the code now. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are gonna be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. Okay, I blew up their nanobots and freed their prisoners. I've tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. Hey, good work. Now to get out of here. And I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace her steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way.
She's nearly out, Marcus. You need to hurry. Shit, she's gonna get away. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers. Or sell it. Yeah, yeah. without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus. Is that the nanotech? Mm-hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? Oh, uh, no time. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Here. Take a look. Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds of thousands. Okay, show and tell's over. Gotta go. Hey, what the, was that? Yes. You didn't stop her? <laughs> you straight played her! Don't fuck with the hot sauce. That, that's like a line from a Cisco movie. Damn, that's my boy. It should pack a punch for the PR vid. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy shit. Within the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions, anti-aging treatments, psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like Rensense. Testing has only just begun in its current form. And testing requires guinea pigs. Rensense took your homeless, tempest-tossed your wretched refuse and injected them with experimental nanotech. They asked them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual depots. We have given you the truth. Do what you will.
Josh, I found another zombie-infested phone. Does it have CTOS Mobile on it? Yep. Recent update, too. This is infuriating. I can't figure out what it's trying to do. I'll stay on the trail. My head was gonna blow the fuck up. trying to tell you you need this in your life i mean this thing has suction above suction i mean it's like a tornado and a hurricane mixed together i promise you if you have hardwood it's gonna make it shine if you got carpet it's gonna make it super clean and soft as a baby's bottom control yep that was me at first i thought these guys were doing some sort of weirdo art thing but they're definitely planning something sounds like it Think they're still out there? They What's were a couple minutes ago. Hard to miss, too. Just look for the ears. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Hey, I'm one of you now, right? Do I get credit or something? What's your tag? Snickerdoodle. 
For real? <laughs> no, it's face fuck. Okay, wait, for real? No, it's actually Snickerdoodle, but you can call me Snick. Long story, don't ask. <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta know. Why snickerdoodle? Tell you what, at Christmas, come see me. Bring a bottle of whiskey, a bag of chronic, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. It's easier to show than tell. You got a deal. Yeah. Mm. Shit, breath. already know your secrets, so stop hiding them! Did some digging on Ordinate Academy. Ray, I don't think these guys are directly linked to default. Just borrowing his imagery since he disappeared. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Nope. Not a thing. Uh-huh. So it looks like these guys are recruiting a first round of followers, gathering up as much private data on them as they can, and they're gonna reveal everything. Use them as examples of people free from their secrets. Yeah, that everybody's an open book shit doesn't work so well when it's only a handful of people you expose, right? They should be targeting Silicon Valley with this. Gotta say, Default's mask is a perfect fit for these fucking morons. I need to figure out where they're meeting. They're supposed to have a place near the stadium south of the bridge, some kind of building with silos. Josh? How would I know? You already found it, didn't you? <laughs> yes. I see a match. Sending it your way. <laughs> Thanks. Yo, you got a dog? Nope. I'm just a naughty little newbie waiting for the NSA to penetrate my ports. Citizens of the world, are you ready for dead sex? Oh. Yo, I didn't think this was your style. Relax, it's cool. The point is, it's a branding problem. And if somebody wants to fuck us over, I'd rather they do it to my face. <laughs> the director's a real art house shit stain and stalker extraordinaire. If you humiliate him on camera, you get more followers. I don't like the guy much. He hurt one of my friends in the industry, turned her into an addict. So I trashed his accounts. One thing led to another. And Wrench and I firebombed his 1972 Cadillac. <laughs> God, that thing burned beautifully. Score one for Sitar. Hmm. He's filming down the street at BDS Mania. Make it spectacular, Marcus. Hey, and wait, this is a pawn shop for porn stars?
gonna get you. You won't find what I've got anywhere else. Maybe next time. to your friend did you get a help stayed up long nights with her got her clean it was hell but we got through it the problem is someone who's been through that once all it takes is a bad mood swing and they've fallen off the wagon again so she hasn't recovered most of the time she's making progress but he really fucked her up i do think humiliating this asshole is going to help with the healing consider it done Some real stars in today, don't we? A couple. like the crew's having some kind of rooftop party. Maybe your guy's out here somewhere. He won't be. Unless it's on set, he avoids social interaction like the plague. If they're shooting anything inside, that's where you'll find him. Total control freak. Film in the dead sec feature, I think. Do yourself a favor, don't go anywhere near that shit. My girlfriend's kid is dead sec. Hangs out in the chat channel. Says there's an op coming. That one's on me. That one. An op? Operation. Okay. Let's see the magic being made. So I need to find dirt on what's his name? Alejandro Jakovsky. <laughs> right. And then spank him. Literally. And film it. I need it for my video. You sure you don't want to be the one doing this? She would smash his skull into tiny pieces, which doesn't work as well for our image. As fun as it sounds. He's not exaggerating. Right. So that means I need to try to isolate him. If he's busy filming, I'm going to have to do a little social engineering. I got a plan. Let's hear it. It involves a little disguise work, a little gumption, and a whole lot of fluffing. Man, fuck you! Hey, when you're faced with a shaky ladder, you need to get a firm grip on the rungs. Son? No, right, just no. Thank you. 
even need stroke. I just give you a little shot. Yeah, yeah. like left, right, left, Jane. Left, right, left. Times between the strikes. I'll open up to you a bit. How's that? That is perfect. Tell me if it's too much. Ready? Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> left, not right. Left, back. No, no, no. I hit. Go sex bot. I don't know Show me your secrets. Is he even American? I'm not so sure. Maybe he's an illegal. I'd rather be looking at an illegal worker fund than whatever the fuck you're implying. Get on it! Sitar. My alien sex tentacle robot got me into BDSM's bookkeeping. A huge chunk of profit money was deposited recently. He's been playing dirty. I passed it along to one of our dummy accounts. You can pick the charity and redistribute. That's so sweet. I know just the one. Also, alien sex tentacle robot. I've named him Pokey. <laughs> of course he did. What's next? Well, now that the money's gone, I'll use it to scare Mr. Jackofsky off the set. I have a free ticket to Spank City. That's an excellent porno title. Let's crowdfund it. Consider it back. What are the tier rewards? Hey, one thing at a time, people. Action. Wait, please. You don't understand. I can't lose my virginity to a machine. I'm a good Christian boy. The Bible doesn't say anything about robots. You'll be fine. But you're not a robot.
You're about to make me very angry, aren't you? Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, oh, I won't shoot you. I can be a lot more creative than that. Spit uh, it out. Our associates have made some changes to the script. Fuck me. No, Why do they even have the script? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you nobody Russian yeah, sees the damn okay. thing before I film. Because they demanded it. And these people will shoot the messenger. Fuck. Fuck! I'll deal with it. Go! Which shoot? Daniela's Inferno. Well, that's green screen. Yeah. Oh, so don't use the green one. for your close-up. Who the fuck are you? Oh, shit. You're dead sick. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Hey, you know, I heard you really like it rough, right? So, I was wondering if you could take it as much as you can dish it. Oh, it's time to join dead sec. It's your initiation. So I'm thinking he should join us. So listen, director, I'm in charge of this film, and here, I want you to say I love dead sec every time you feel a little eh back there, okay? So what are you going to say? Let's just go straight into shooting. No rehearsal. I, I love dead sec. You know your lines. You're off book already. I love oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Yeah, I am making pay. One more for good measure. Hey. All right, all right. I think we got all the footage we need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is great. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Felt it, too. Youch! We've been looking through Jakovsky's files. He has some very questionable business partners. It'll take a while to get through them all. In the meantime, our video is almost ready. Just waiting on you to come home. Hey, I have a question. Do you think he became a pornography director because his last name was Jakovsky? Or is it just a coincidence? Ha! <laughs> Hun, it's an alias he uses to sell his brand. His real last name is... Spangitsky. <laughs> Funny. Today, a Rensen spokesman denied allegations of the company's illegal experimentation. The medical tech giant maintains that all human testing is done on a voluntary basis. But the deceptive wording in the contracts leaked by hacker group DedSec tell a different story. The fact that the volunteers are all homeless citizens of the Bay Area only adds fuel to a rapidly growing fire.